It's Saturday, do you core? Listen, this is all you need for today's workout. You need your mat and you need your resistance bands, your loop resistance bands. Again, you need your mat and your resistance bands and you wanna have some water. Definitely wanna have some water. If you're ready to roll, let's do what we can to do. Can you need to press pause, do so, but definitely come back. Let's do what we can to do, you guys. All right, we're gonna start on the floor. We're gonna start on the floor. I'm gonna start in um, plank position because what we're gonna do is start with mountain climbers first. Mountain climbers just means you're pulling your knees in towards your chest. That's it, your back stays flat. Okay, you don't wanna do this. This is wrong, this is wrong. You wanna be here and pull it in, and pull it in. Here we go, begin in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, pull it in, pull it in. Good. Make sure you have full control as your knees are coming in. And extend it back. Doing good. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice and done. Knees down. What you're going to do is literally just extend each leg, opposite hand and opposite leg. Okay? That's all you're doing. You're extending the right arm and the left leg at the same time, and the left arm and the right leg at the same time. Keep going. Go ahead and keep going with me if you have not started already. Keep the core engaged. What you're looking to do is make that nice straight line with both the hand and the foot. So I'm extending it and breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, two, two, one, mountain climbers. Here we go. Ready? Begin. Pull those knees in. Pull them in, pull them in, pull them in. Keep the hips low. We'll pull the knees in. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Keeping the back flat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good, back on knees. Here we go, ready, begin, stand. And you wanna keep the core engaged. This exercise makes it very simple or it can be very complex. What you're doing is keeping the transfer of the weight in your core while you do this exercise. So you wanna keep everything centered. Really focus on getting that head and that leg up and keeping it straight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Going right back into mountain climbers. Ready? Begin. Pull the knee in. Again, keeping that back flat. You do not want to look like the hunchback, so no buns up here. Keep everything down. Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back on knees. Here we go. Ready. Begin. Extend. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. Good. Again, watch your balance. Watch how stable you are. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and roll on our side. I don't know about y'all, but my buns are still feeling the remnants of the buns. Woo, I'm still feeling it. All you're going to do is go into a side plank. Okay. We're just coming up. Up right here. So my bottom knee right now on my left side. So my left knee is down. My right leg is straight. Okay. My hips are to the front. So my hips are not back here while I'm doing the exercise. That ain't gonna do it. We could make it do it, but that's not what we're doing right now. Roll those hips to the front. Okay. Make sure the knees are literally in line with each other. My left arm is down because I'm on my left side. And all I'm gonna do is just literally lift myself up. Now, if you need a little bit more assistance. You can place that right hand in front of you and then lift up that way, but do not push yourself up if that makes any sense. It's there for stability more than anything else. Here we go. Ready? Begin. Come up. 
Good. Come up. Keeping the chest up and forward. And literally pushing yourself up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. What are you going to do next? It's thrust up, but now you're going to lift your leg. Okay? That right leg is doing all of the work. It's doing all of the movement. I do have my right arm in front of me for stability. Go ahead and join in with me if you have not already done so. Lift up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and hit the other side. So when you're doing that extended leg lift, in which we're going to start with that on this side, I want you to make sure your hip is off of the ground. Go ahead and get that hip off of the ground. Here we go. Let's do the extended leg neck now. So that means you're up in that side plank and we're lifting that top leg. Go ahead and go for it. Come on. Make sure you're breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Go ahead and do your side plank. Good. Get the hips up, get the hips up. So then lightly touch the ground and then right back up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Good. And what I want you to do now is go on your butt, grab your weight. Remember, I said you need your weight for today. When you do, grab your weight. We're going to go into a Russian twist. Love Russian twist. It's a goodie. It's definitely a good one. And all you're doing is literally, you have the weight in both hands. So if you have a dumbbell, you'll hold it like it's a big old juicy hamburger. It's not a dumbbell. Or if you have your kettlebell, I like to grab one that outside of my handles or whatever weight you're using. Just make sure you have the weight evenly distributed in both hands. That's important. And what I do is I twist almost to the furthest point of my back. And then, or behind me, and I do the same thing on the other side. My knees are together and feet are together. Now, some people pull their legs up. If you're there, cool beans, that's totally fine. I'm actually going to go there today. But most importantly, make sure your shoulders are not rounded down. Make sure you have your shoulders back, chin up, chest up, because you don't want to cause any strain or stress in the back. If you're feeling like breaking, I'm in this deep position and just hold this deep position right now because this is an exercise. While you're um, holding it, if you're realizing the back is hurting, your core just might need to be strengthened a little bit more. So come up, come up to the point where it's not hurting you. Now, if you don't feel anything, go back as far as you can. Here we go. Ready? Begin. My feet are going to be up. And I'm still going to try to keep my hips straightened out because I don't want to move my hips. I only want to move my core. Come on. Keep twisting. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. What I want you to do next is grab your light resistance bands. Light loop resistance bands. Go ahead and put them over the knees. Over the knees. And what we're gonna do is open up the heels as much as possible. So I have my right heel almost, well, it's definitely out of line with my right shoulder and my left, my left heel on the same. I'm pushing in and then I'm extending out into this V, okay? I'm pulling my knees in and then I'm extending out. Got that? So knees come in, feet are flexed, and then I extend out. Go ahead and join in with me. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and go on your side. Go back on that side. Back on that side. And we'll start with our plank dip first. Then we're going to add in the extended leg 
for the leg lift, okay? Here we go. We're dipping. Go ahead and begin with me. Tuck that hip down and then back up. Down and then back up. Make sure you get that hip up as much as possible. It's not gonna hurt. Not gonna hurt you this time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Go ahead and get that hip up. And let's lift. Ready? Begin. Lift, lift. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Other side. Doing the dip, doing our dip first. Doing our dip first. Here we go. Ready? And begin. Push the hips up. Push the hips up. Breathing. Get the hip all the way up. Make sure your hips are rolled to the front and not to the back. That doesn't help us. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold your hips up, leg lift again. Come on, get that leg up there. Doing nice and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. On your butt, grab your weight. On your butt, grab your weight. What we're doing this time is we're gonna twist, push, twist. Push, okay? Now again, make sure the shoulders are back, chest is up. Go ahead, remember that B or how it had you straddle the feet just a little bit more before we did that, um, that flex extended type of motion. Go ahead and put your lower half in that position and hold it just like that, okay? So instead of going up in the air this time, we'll be right here. Ready? Begin. We're gonna twist, twist, push. Push, twist, twist, push, push, twist, twist, push, push, come on, twist, twist, push, keep going. You're pushing right there in the chest, 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 good, twist, and press. Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, finish out strong. Good. All right, here we go. Knees to chest. Ready. Begin. And send out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Back to your side. Get back to that side. Get back to it. Get back to it. All right, chest up, dips, we have dips, ready, and begin. Get it up there, get those hips off of the mat, and then push your body up, and then slowly lower it back down to the ground. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go, lifting up, ready, begin, lift, lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side. Go ahead. Set yourself up on the other side. Set yourself up. Here we go. Begin in 3, 2, 1. Begin. Hips up. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. You want to keep that core engaged. Work those obliques as much as possible. Make sure you're not pushing through too much on the shoulder. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hips up. Let's lift. Ready? Begin. Lift. Keep the core engaged. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and grab your weight. Grab your weight. All right. 
This time, we are pulling our feet off of the ground, doing that exact same combination, okay? Exact same combination of twist, twist, press, press. Now, go at the pace that suits your skill level best, all right? Don't try to rush it. I don't want you to halfway do the movement, okay? Do the movement. I don't care if you get too done. Oh, well, but it's done correctly. Here we go. Ready? Begin. Twist, twist, and then you press twice, okay? Go at your own pace. I'm going at my own pace. I just want complete movement, complete movement. If you're not completing the movement, it is incorrect, okay? And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Good, put that down. We still have those extensions or those feet pressed. Gonna pull the knees in. Ready? Begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Go ahead and take those light resistance bands off. Go ahead and take them off. Good. Put those on the side. You don't need those again. We're learning flat on our back, flat on our back. I just want standard crunches, standard crunches. Not too often that we just do regular crunches, so this is what it needs to look like. Back is flat, everything is nice and flat. If you're gonna go hands behind your head, make sure you're not pulling the neck up like this. That is wrong. What you're doing is lifting up with your upper core region or upper abdominals. No stress or strain should be placed on the neck. The stress and strain is in the core. So lift your back off the floor by using your core, okay? Back off the floor by using your core. Ready? And begin. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and grab your weight. Grab your weight again. All right. So we're going to do jack knives. If you've never done jack knives with me, I want you to hold your weight straight up. So it's right at the chest. And I want you to hold it straight up at the chest. What we're doing with the lower half is lifting them up off the ground. And when you come back down towards the ground, you squeeze your glutes. So your legs never hit the ground in between, but your glutes do in fact become engaged. So everybody start straight up in the air, just like this. And then when you lower, do a practice one, squeeze glutes right there and then come back up. You should not feel anything in your back, okay? If you do, come here, squeeze glutes. Just don't go as far, but you still squeeze glutes when you're ready to stop your legs before they hit the ground. Here we go. We have 10. Ready? Begin. One, two, three. Squeeze the glutes, y'all. Four, that's the secret. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold your legs at the top. After this one, hold. Then you single up. Single, begin with me, come on. Single leg, up, single leg, up. You do still squeeze those glutes whenever they go down. That leg goes down, you still squeeze the glutes because you are stopping the leg, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, feet back down. Going back into our crunch. Ready? And begin. Crunch it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Grab your weight. Ten jack knives. Ready? And begin. One. Two, three, 
four, squeeze those glutes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. What I want you to do this time, instead of doing the single leg, what you're going to do is twist, okay? Twist at the hips and then pull it back up. So I'm twisting my hips, I lower my leg, I pull them up, twist the hips, lower legs, pull them back up, okay? Go at your own pace. Ready? Begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Finish strong. Good. Going back to crunches. Back to crunches. Here we go. Ready. And begin. Back off the floor. Lift with your core. Two, three, four, five, six. Get that core, y'all. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your weight. Grab your weight. Press it right there at the chest, extend it all the way up, and we have our jack knives. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, squeeze the glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, make sure you're breathing, 10. Keep holding up, we're twisting at the waist. Ready, begin, twist and lower the legs and back up. Good, keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Finish strong, good. And come up, get those resistance bands. Remember I said we weren't gonna be done with those? Yeah. That was the truth. Put those below the knees. Below the knees. What we're going to do is we're going to take our weight. Uh -oh. All right. We're going to take our weight. And again, extending this up above your chest, right there at the chest line. You're pulling one leg in and then you're lowering back down. So your shoulders do come off the ground to meet that leg halfway, okay? One more time, one more time, just in case you missed it. You're coming up, shoulders up off the ground, legs meet in, in the middle, and then lower your body back down, okay? So it's like we're doing a midway crunch, but all of our limbs are extended. Let's go ahead and begin in three, two, one, focus on one side at a time. Up, nice controlled movement. That's all we're looking for. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other leg, begin. Get it up there. Good, get it up there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, good. What we're gonna do this time is bend your knees. Gonna bend your knees and elbows. So knees are bent, elbows are bent. And what you're doing is pulling knees into elbow and then tapping the weight down behind your head and your heels tap down right there in their beginning position. So one more time, knees are bent, elbows are bent. My knees are open because I'm going against the resistance. So keep those knees open. I pull my weight in and then I lower it back down, okay? It's just a tap and then you go right back into engagement, okay? Ready, and begin. Come on, go at your own pace. Control the movement. Control the movement. So you're pulling that core in and then you're doing kind of a slow release because you do want to control everything. 10, nine, be a control freak. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good, extend this right there, back, 
above the chest. And we're coming up again, single leg at a time. Ready? And begin. Come up. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend everything. Ready? And begin. Come on. Crunch it and then slowly lower it back down. Crunch and slowly lower it back down. You should feel that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Extend those legs again. Ready? Begin. One leg at a time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Other leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend, bend the knees and the elbows. Ready, begin, crunch it in and back down. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And come on up. Got one last thing that we're doing, and then we are done for this session. We're going to do a star crunch. Now, if y'all familiar with what a star crunch is, I you going? Legs are going to be out of the V, arms are going to be in a T. Okay, and all you're doing is pulling everything into the middle at one time, okay? Legs in a V, arms in a T, and then pull everything together at one time, okay? Go ahead and join in with me right now. Go ahead and join in with me. Open up as wide as possible, and then come back in. Yes, if the question is, well, what do we do about the glutes? Do we still squeeze them? Yes, you are still squeezing those glutes. When those legs lower back down to the ground, keep squeezing, squeeze. It does not hurt, it does help. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Y'all, great job. Drink your water. Drink your water, drink your water, drink your water. Eat clean, eat very, very clean. And of course, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Great job today. And I will see y'all for Reset Sunday tomorrow.